16 with the way that they're playing so far against the 12 and 6 Blue Jays. Excellent pass inside to Para, and she lays it in. Well, and then you see that miscommunication, and that allows the Blue Jays to get an easy basket as Xavier loses. Take there by Broski, can't get a shot up. Sarda has three seconds on the shot clock. Broski for three. And that one banks in. It's late on a Friday night, but the bank is still open. Six games, and now she's better than nine in league play. Yeah, so that improvement continues tonight. Here's Rambao for three, and that one goes. They'll be listening to Coach Flannery scream at you, I'm sure. Elger, nice pass to Batchelor. Batchelor lays that one in. It's out there, you can see that that's missing. She's their leading rebounder as well, speaking of defense. Nice job there by Pryor, she goes up. And once again, I think footsteps, she was worried about him. Nice job there by Batchelor to clean it. And to be fair, we mentioned the bunnies that Creighton missed. Xavier has missed some as well. Here's a three-point shot put up by Rambao. Nice job there by Batchelor to get the rebound. Excellent backdoor cut for Gracie Griglione, and the Jays tie it up at 26. We're seeing more good defense being played by Xavier. Elger's going to have to put it up, gets it off just in time, and it somehow goes in. Hands it off to Dwarik. Dwarik back over to Sarder for three, and that one falls. Nothing but nylon, and the quarter ends with the Blue Jays up by six, 46 to 40. The play on the court, but the fans really feeling the tenseness in this ball game. Sarda inside lays it in. She has tied her career high, and more importantly, gives the Blue Jays a 51 to 49 limit. Incredibly well tonight. Inside to Bachelor. What a pass from the freshman Michael Borum, and another freshman, Carly Bachelor, puts up that two. Driving. Here's a long three, and it. Is taken in by Bachelor. She puts it up, and the Jays have their largest lead of the game. 